Hello and welcome back to our channel, where we commemorate influential people from diverse backgrounds. We mourn the death of Cuban-born NLB pitcher Louis Tyant at 83. A legend in Major League Baseball, Tyant had a major impact on the sport, especially with the Boston Red Sox. His death ends an era for baseball lovers worldwide. We'll cover his life, fame, personal life, and legacy in this video. Join us as we honor NLB legend Louis Tyant. Louis Clemente Tyant was born in Mariano, Cuba, to baseball fans on November 23, 1940. Young Louis idolized his father, Louis Tyant Sr., a Negro League and Cuban League pitcher, and wanted to emulate him. He had no idea that he would transcend their expectations and become a baseball legend and Cuban symbol. Tyant debuted in 1964 with the Cleveland Indians and made an immediate impact. Hitters feared Tyant's unusual throwing approach, which included a twist in his windup. In the 1970s, he became an NLB icon with the Boston Red Sox. During the 1975 World Series, Tyant pitched two shutouts, permanently cementing his position in Boston fans' hearts. With 229 victories, 49 shutouts, and almost 2,400 strikeouts in 19 seasons, Tyant was a premier pitcher of his time. Louis Tyant died at 83 from different health difficulties, although the cause is unknown. Tyant battled sickness with elegance in his senior years, recalling his baseball resilience. His family has not released a comment, but the baseball community is devastated by his death. Fans, teammates, and baseball historians have praised him for his skill and personality on and off the field. Off the field, Louis Tyant was reserved but family-oriented. His marriages were two. Maria, his first wife, was his long-standing partner during his fame. They faced numerous hurdles, including the political unrest in his native Cuba, which kept him from his family for years. Despite his high-profile sporting career, Tyant was loyal to his family. After Maria's death, Tyant remarried and was praised as a caring husband and father. His children were a significant part of his life, apart from his baseball career. Tyant supported them in all their undertakings, taking satisfaction in their successes. He always showed his family and Cuban heritage in interviews and public appearances. Tyant was humble and grounded after his success, never forgetting his parents' sacrifices and his early trials. Tyant maintained a close relationship with baseball after retirement. He taught young pitchers his career lessons as a pitching coach. He was a passionate instructor, philanthropist, and baseball ambassador after retiring. Tyant also helped poor youngsters in the U.S. and Cuba through numerous humanitarian activities. His kindness and community spirit showed his belief in using his reputation to help others. His net worth was estimated at $5 million at his death. His riches came from NLB, coaching, endorsements, and public appearances. Chiant led a simple life compared to many current athletes, focusing on baseball and his family despite his high salary. Louis Chiant's legacy goes beyond stats and awards. He was a symbol of endurance, despite growing up in politically isolated Cuba to succeed in Major League Baseball. Fans liked his pitching, charm, passion for the game, and connection with others. He will always be remembered by Red Sox fans for his 1975 season role. All throughout baseball have paid respect to Tyant since his death. Former teammates, sports journalists, and NLB players have praised the excellent athlete and human being. Another Red Sox legend, David Ortiz, called Tyant an inspiration and a warrior. Fans have posted their greatest memories of his games on social media, praising his distinctive pitching style and cordial fan relations. Although Louis Tyant is gone, his legacy will live on. His baseball talents, family dedication, and generosity will inspire future generations. Our channel sends condolences to his family, friends, and followers. Louis Chant, a true legend, rest in peace. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more tales about the world's finest athletes.